Hi, welcome to this series of video tutorials of the book First Year Harmony by William Lovelock. My name is Josiah. If you want to learn harmony, First Year Harmony is definitely one of the first books you may need. This book is currently in the public domain and so you are free to use it free of charge and to distribute it. It's a small book of less than 120 pages and uh, it only has 15 chapters. You may not have a keyboard and so when I play the chords and the progressions in a music notation software you will get to hear. You may not understand some terminologies in the book, and so I'll try as much as possible, as much as I can, to explain. So if you don't have any problem with any of the terminologies in this book, go ahead and download it, it's free, and read it. Uh, this video is meant for those who may have some difficulty in understanding some of these terminologies in this book, and those who do not have the instruments close or the time to write these chords in a music notation software. Lewis Cloet in a span of about two years took time to answer the questions in first year harmony and uh, he wrote all his exercises in a musical application which is a free app you should check it out and he wrote the answers to all the questions all the questions in first year harmony. Now all the notes in red are the notes that are in the textbook and all the notes in black are the notes that he put there himself. I asked for permission and he gave me permission to use his work in these videos. And so we'll be using his examples, his exercises to work out the exercises in the book so that we can save time. And so the chapters in this book include uh, preliminary triads and chord progression, cadences and simple harmonization, first inversion of triads, second inversion of triads, unaccented passing notes, the dominant seventh, the media triad, accented passing notes, suspensions, melodic minor scale, elementary modulation, auxiliary notes, three-part work, some point of style. And, uh, Let's go through the first chapter, which is very short. Actually, the first chapter is just like instructions. It is taken for granted that the student, before commencing the study of harmony, has a thorough knowledge of rudiments. Otherwise, misunderstanding and confusion inevitably arise. In particular, intervals must be properly understood. In other words, you should know how a uh, major third, a minor third looks like on paper and how it sounds. Number two, no real progress is possible unless the faculty of mental hearing is properly cultivated. A complete discussion of this matter is obviously beyond the scope of the present book and one can do little more than to stress its extreme impor importance. Every example, whether a single chord or a complete progression, should be played many times consecutively at the piano and the student should endeavor to memorize at least its general sound effect so that when he sees any given chord progression on paper he may be able to realize mentally its actual sound. So as much as I'll try and play to you every chord, every progression in this book in a music notation software, it's your work to keep on rewinding and listening to it over and over so that you get the a general sound effect. It's very important to hear the progression in your mind as you write the harmony. It is also desirable, that's number three, that all the examples which are given generally in C major for the sake of simplicity should be written out and played in various keys so that the student may be able to recognize them in keys other than C. Uh, the goodness of this book is that the examples are all in C. Now you need to hear also how it sounds in other keys and how it's written in other keys. Of course, with key signature, it will look pretty alike, only that on different lines and different spaces, and the key will sound different, but uh, make sure you try to play the same in different keys when you have time, 
and also try to write this same progression in codes in different keys. Number four, the effectiveness of these procedures is entirely dependent on a, on a properly arranged course of instruction in mental hearing, which can only be left in the hands of the teacher. So if you have some musicianship course in your college or university or school, make sure you have some time with your musical music instructor so that you can learn about mental hearing and uh, learn about the intervals and such. The last point must be firmly impressed on the student that what follows is to be studied, not merely read. This may seem like a trite observation, but experience shows that all too many students appear to think that a more or less casual reading over the texts is sufficient to enable them to achieve real understanding and the ability to work ex exercises correctly. It should be clearly realized that every sentence throughout the whole book is of importance and its meaning and implications must be properly understood. So this is not a novel. That's what the author is trying to say. You should not just be reading it, you should understand. And that's why I'm making these videos, actually. We're supposed to go through every point and explain them and study the chords, the intervals, and listen to them and learn how to harmonize melodies. I'm also assuming that you have some basic skills of uh, melody writing, and so you can write a good tune from mind. You can think of a tune and write it in a, a music notation software or even on a piece of paper. You should be able to write a melody because actually you will be harmonizing melodies uh, in real life, melodies that you have already written yourself. Otherwise in this book we are going to be given melodies to harmonize and you may learn some tips of melody writing from the melodies in this book. That's the end of chapter 1, it was just instructions and next video we're going to chapter 2 where we'll learn about the triads and chord progression.